Hi guys, welcome back to A Natural Dose of London. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I feel my edges in. As you guys can see, they are pretty much gone. I'm gonna give my story really, really quick on how I got like this. So, many, many years ago, when my children were really, really young, um, they were in daycare, I worked. I was a young mom, single mom. Their father passed away, so I was left to raise the girls on my own. Anyways, I went on with life, did, did what I have to do, and um, working was one of the things that I had to do. So, getting up in the morning was really hard for me because my daughters were like stair steps. One, two, three, three, four, five. They were like that. So, around the time when I noticed my edges really, really starting to fade away was when they were around maybe two three four somewhere around that area and right now they are um 17 18 and 19 so that's how long ago it was anyways once that happened um or what happened was um i was wearing braids a lot i worked in dialysis so i wore braids a whole lot because um it was just convenient and i wore for a long time which was the worst thing I could have ever done. So I do not suggest if you're going to wear braids, don't wear them for very long, especially your edges. When they start to hang, get them done over or just take them out and then uh, nourish your hair, you know, treat your scalp, your hair so that it's not dry and won't be breaking off all of that good stuff because all of that happened to me. And that's why I am here today. So in this video, I want to share with you guys how I fill them in to make them appear to be fuller than what they are. It's not a permanent fix. Um, it's not something that I feel like makes my edges worse because I do feel like um, they have been growing in a little bit over time. And um, I don't see any any downgrade from my edges by doing any of um, what I'm about to share with you guys today. So um, what I use is... Normally what I use is this Edge Wax right here by Murray's. I've been using this for a long time now, you guys, and I'm pretty much out. But you can use any, you know, um, styler that you that you prefer, like any edge control. You could even use this 24 hour edge control. This is like a popular one right now, and this really, really works really, really well. In fact, um, I think I'm liking this a little bit more than this one nowadays, but any anyone will do just fine also you can use gel like if you want to use gel you can use gel but when using gel make sure you you treat your hair like you um condition your hair um it's not dried out that type of stuff and then this is not going to last you weeks on end so when you pretty much wash your face or take a shower at night you wash that right away out and you start over the next day if that's what you choose to do so I'm going to get right to it and show you guys um, what else I use. Um, this is one of the things that I've been using for many years. In fact, I did a video on this um, same thing on my other channel, Life with London. If you guys want to check that video out, you're more than welcome. I'll leave the description in the description below the link where you can go check that out. And while you're there, subscribe to my family vlog channel, Life with London. But anywho, I've been using the color stick and I always use, it's like a brown color. Um, I was able to get these in the beauty supply, but over time it seemed like they kind of like faded away, but I really, really like these. So, um, what I would do is go on Amazon and just order like three sticks at a time so that I will always have them. But this is what it looked like. It's just a color stick to like color up your gray hairs and stuff like that. I get the dark brown. That's the color dark brown that I got. Not sure if you can see it, but it says dark brown. And it's called Instant Touch Up Color Stick for um, retouch, you know, basically gray hair. I use it to fill in my sides. So um, the other thing that I've been using, someone recommended to me to try it as well, is mascara. And um, this is an old mascara that really doesn't have anything left in it. So I use it sometimes because I alternate to use it for my my edges and it works just as good or maybe better so i'm liking this really a lot more too so what i'm going to show you is how i fill them in i have already have some gel on my sides because i just did a uh wash and go on my hair and it just dried out but before i actually got into getting my hair fully fully done i thought i'd take the time to show you guys 
what my edges are looking like and um, how I get them to look fuller. So I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at what they're looking like. And I'm really sad that my edges are gone because I used to have a whole head full of hair, like long, thick, Ugh, I miss those days, but I gotta do what I have to do. So hope this helps somebody else out there. But anyways, you would you would take, I'm gonna just use this gel for instance. I'm gonna use this for instance. You take some gel and you would just slick your edges down. Just slick them down, get them nice and slick. You could use your edge control, gel, whatever. Um, and just kinda slick them down. It's really, really easy and it only takes a few seconds, okay? So you do this step by using whichever um, product you want to use, whether it's itch control, gel, whatever. And then um, you can also use like a um, brush, an edge brush to like slick them, shape them in the way that you want. I, I promise you guys, I'm going to order some of that edge entity edge into these stuff I've been seeing on Instagram it looks like that stuff has been helping people so um, I don't want to miss out on that so next what I do is I just take my um, stick here and I kind of just go along the line kind of fill it in and make it look like I got hair and that's just about it I wouldn't I would not use like um, the mascara brush that you use every day. Use an old one that's like pretty much gone and you don't care about or buy a new one for this purpose only. And then what I do is I just go in and kind of like blend it in just to make it look fuller. So this is how I use um, the mascara to fill the edges in. You see that? So you seen the before. Now you see the after. So yes, this leaves a little black on your on your hands. You just wipe it off. No big deal. Take a towel, wipe it off. No biggie. And um, I don't. I've never had an issue with this stuff getting on my clothes or anything like that. So now I'm going to show you how I use the stick on the other side and then maybe you guys could tell me which one you like best um but this is the stick here i'm gonna use it down here because i'm gonna just do a little bit so you've seen it before now you can kind of see what the stick what, what the stick does i think i like the mascara better i just feel like it's it goes on almost like light hair. Do you see that? So that's what I do to make my edges appear to be fuller than what they really are. So um, that's how you use that color stick. So there's that right here. And over here is the mascara. But for today, I'm going to finish using the mascara like up here. I just wanted to show you guys this side um, so that you can kind of get an idea. So you don't have to be too heavy handed with the mascara because it will go on um, kind of thick. And you could just take a little bit and just blend it in and you don't need a whole, whole lot. So... And then if you don't like it too dark, you can take some off, whatever. And that's it. Like right now, I feel like I made this side a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna just wipe my hands off and then go back in and blend it, blend it some more. And, um, that's it. Now I have what I call edges. Edges in my life. Edges in my world. I have some edges now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this little tutorial and um, quick fix 
like i said it doesn't fix it permanently it just helps us you know to boost our confidence because you know when that wind blow you don't want all of that showing so just blend it in you'll feel a lot better trust me um so now i'm gonna say goodbye go on over and um film another video so that i can show um how my twist out came out if you guys are interested in that and this look go on over to the next video and um watch it as well also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys